All right, guys, so I'm in the middle of a very, very nice runner at the moment. I'm going to show you guys how I play these. Hopefully, we can get price action all the way to the bottom of this swing, but we're going to see what happens. We're in a very, very, very strong bearish sell-off. So the way that I like to play the runners, I'm still leaving my buy stop up here where I sold, but as soon as we have something like we have here, a break above a bar, I'm going to trail it one tick above that signal bar as soon as we break below the bar that um, created a swing high so it depends if we break lower then i'm going to trail it let's see we haven't broken below yet come on so now we have i'm going to secure more than 10 points right there and now if we keep going i already know that i got over 10 points but i still allow a little bit of room for an extra extra bonus if the market is is feeling nice to me but i might actually just trail it at the ema for now just because because it was such a strong move and even after this break i'm still expecting a new low so sometimes i like to just wait at the ema it's only about three points of risk, but I'm still expecting to even test the lows of the day. So it's a three point risk for about another 10 or so points of potential profit. Like I said, we're still expecting to even at least test this swing low after this break that we just had. Hopefully we can get there. Let's see. We haven't broken below where my stop was before. Let's see what happens. And the biggest thing in these moments is just to stay calm. Just look at everything with a unbiased perspective. Don't get nervous or anything like that. Take a deep breath, whatever you need to do to maintain your composure. Um, as you see, I'm talking very calm. I am not nervous at all or anything. I'm just speaking a little bit quietly because it is the morning and I got people sleeping near me, but... Once again, we're still at least looking to retest this low. It's just a matter of how much room I really want to give it. Hopefully we bounce at the EMA. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> and even if we do get stopped out here, I still have a seven and a half point runner, which I'm happy with. So here we get a first entry short, but it's really a hidden second entry because we had a mini leg up mini break new high as soon as the ema comes down to around this swing high i'm going to trail my stop so let's see if i will do better with what happens now or if i would have just kept my stop at this 2175 level <clears throat> Okay, so now we've had an official break in a new low of this incredibly bearish, fast move. You know what? If we if we have a bullish bar coming up, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take my runner out. Let's see. You know what? It didn't let me. Why not? Why not have a little fun and, and see where this goes? All right, let's do it. I should have just put my buy stop one tick above this this low bar, but we still we still have a chance to, to keep going lower still likely let's draw a uh wide downtrend or wide trading range that looks pretty accurate to me because as we see the midline is just bouncing at these levels <clears throat> 
And now we just cross our fingers and hope we get down there. And look, my buy stop is right at the midline, which, so, which, which shows there was a lot of selling pressure at the midline. It shows that the midline is accurate. No, don't get there. And as we see, the price action rules are being followed because after we had a break in a new low, we expect the downtrend to be over. Short term leg up. Hopefully I won't get stopped out, but I should have just trailed my, my buy stop at this 4019 price level. I would have been content with that. I'm still content if we get a runner stopped out, but hopefully not. All right, there it is. Peace out. All right, guys, so as we previously thought, we did end up getting to a new low of the day. I took a short entry right here. It was a failed second entry long, a nice bearish signal bar. And I'm gonna trail my stop all the way up here. So we had this strong leg down right here. We had a break of it. We were trading back into this trading range or congestion. We had a failed breakout of the top. We had a new high here. We went once down, first entry long. We went down again. There was a second entry long. So if you look right there on the right side, it was a second entry long opportunity because we had two failed attempts by the bulls in the market to go push the market higher. But what they failed to realize is that there's incredible selling pressure at these levels. When we had a nice, nice, nice bear signal bar, I was confident we would at least make a one point scalp, but I also was looking at this price level of 4,014 to test this low. And then obviously we took out everyone's stops here. So now we're just, we're just in it for the ride right now, baby. Let's see how low we can go. Hopefully it can go pretty low. But now, once again, just stay patient. Wait on your hands. No need to rush anything. No need to get nervous or take any trade out early. But let's see what happens. At this point, when we have such strong momentum down, it really can be unpredictable, but I mean, look at this. We can go very, very low. There's no previous price action at these levels of the day. If we look at yesterday, a target even might be the lows of yesterday. So let's see. Let's see if we can get all the way down there, but I'm not expecting to go there. I'm just, um, at this point, I'm just trailing my stop at every swing high. So now we have a little bit of congestion. Maybe I'll take my order out right here because prices are kind of stagnant, but we shall see. Even if we focus on this short term lug, we did have a slight break, new low. I'm just going to wait to see what happens out of this congestion because there's really no long entry in here. So if we break below this level once again, then we're going to go lower. But this this is the a key level at, at exactly 4,000. Let's see what happens. And my stop is in a good place above the EMA, above this swing high. So I'm going to actually just trail it right there, get a little bit more. So at least a 16 point runner, maybe, maybe more. But if you're going to get 16 points out of a 20 point move, you've done very, very good for yourself. 
and I'm going to take that all day. But even if we can get lower, it's still possible. So if we can push just below these two bars, I think we, have, we can have another leg like that. This is one leg. We have another me measured leg down. Let's see where that'll put us. That'll put us just past the lows of yesterday. But just a rough, rough, rough target. <clears throat> but we should... We should test this low again. Hopefully we do. But we just gotta stay patient. Hope for the best. Nothing we can do at this point. No need to clench our fists, grit our teeth, play with our hair, do anything besides sit and wait. But obviously if there's actually another short opportunity that presents itself, I might add on to, to my position. But it looks like there's going to be some profit taking because we are at that key, key, key level. But maybe not yet. And this is why I trail my stop loss this way, because if there's some people who are going to trail the stop behind every single bar, just one tick, then you would have got stopped out up here. So you would have been missing out on about six extra points, which is a lot. It's $300 in the future mar futures market just for one single contract, one runner. Okay, now we have a second entry short opportunity. One leg up, first entry short, another leg up, second entry short, but we're away from the EMA. So people are gonna be getting trapped all over the place. Whether it's to the upside or to the downside, I don't know yet. But we just have this mini congestion. Hopefully it's just one leg down, a little pause, and another leg down. Alright, it looks like we might, we might be able to have another strong leg down. Come on. Ooh, bounce exactly right there, which obviously is gonna have a lot of a lot of buying pressure because people will put their stop losses one tick below there. So we just gotta hope for the best. But now that this EMA is coming into play, I might give myself some room. Maybe like one point. Just to give give myself a little extra room if we if we break out the top and then have a failed breakout and then go lower but it's possible that we can have this congestion going on for a while sort of like we we had up here just one leg down i mean this could have been the one leg down as well but no this is a this is a much much stronger move Yeah, if we make if we make the overall range what I had before and make the midline where the, the bottom was, then we get to a rough, rough, rough key level from yesterday. So that might also be a target to look at. Right now, we're just extremely, extremely sideways.
still haven't broken out the top. There we did. Hopefully I have enough room. Ah, it's all right. Order there filled. we go.